Yeah, these people have been there since this morning. I guess they're just watching what's happening. They're just trying to uh, to see those people coming from this building or from this condominiums because we have like 32 condominiums right here on this village. This village is about like seven hectares wide. So it's a big area but surrounded but it's surrounded by a lot of squatters. That's the way it is. You know? This is Philippines. You can't expect things to be your way. You know? It's just survival. That's why all the squatters are just squatting everywhere because they have nowhere to go. They have no they have no place to live. That's the way it is, you know? That guy, I guess, is going to go and try to uh, find some water. There. Okay, I can see that my nephew and my yaya are already there. Uh, they got some food. This is good. Um, yeah, that's the only way. Otherwise, if we don't go and get some food and we're just going to starve right here, nothing's going to happen. You know, we're going to starve. We're going to die. There. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Yaya survived. Yaya was saying that she was so scared of the flood. But it looks like she's smiling because she's got some food. You know? I mean, how can we survive with no food? See, they got lots of food there already. So we're going to be okay. Uh, I just have no idea how we can survive without uh, the, the water or the toilet. But I guess we just have to go and fetch some water from, uh, f from the flood downstairs to flush the toilet. I guess that's the only way. You know, because right now... There you go, on that flood. Hey, smile! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're smiling. I got mad at her a while ago. I said, if you're not going to uh, let yourself survive, God is going to punish you. You know, because she said that, oh, I'm so scared. So I said, God will always going to be there for you as long as you know how to help yourself. But I said, you're scared? Well, in fact, we're so lucky to be living on this building. And most of those people are the squatters. All right. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to the world. There you go. There, they're coming. Okay. So as you can see, guys, that's the way it is right here, you know. That's the way it is here. There you go. We're all surrounded by a lot of squatters right here, especially in this area, you know, on the riverside. A lot of people just... I don't know how they will survive because they're all dry. I mean, uh, the houses are just flooded. And here are the buildings. We have 32 buildings. And this is mine. I'm at cluster one, means uh, condominium one or tower one. That's where I am. Everybody's just right there trying to survive. There you go. You know, I'm actually taking videos from the front of my condominium. I'm at the fourth floor. Okay, I'll go and find out what's happening downstairs. I guess they'll be coming from here with the food. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Okay, oh, ano, namatay ka? She survived, see? Did you die? Did you die? 
Huh? Okay, so no. And as a matter of fact, she was actually smiling right there. So. I'm scared. The water is so... I know, I know, but it's not the end of the world, okay? The most important thing is we are not hungry. We have food, okay? <laughs> oh, no. There you go. We're happy. <laughs> because, you know, if we're just going to stay the rest of our lives just waiting for the flood to go, we're going to go hungry. There you go. <laughs> Thank Lord we have food. There you go. Thank God we have food. There. So now we got some rice. We got some food. Oh, there you go. Ano pang binili nyo? Ano pa? Saging. Tinapay. Rice. So we got some rice. We got some bread. We got some bread. We got some bananas. There you go. The chicken adobo. So we have some chicken. We have some whatever. Baka na. There. Some some uh, beef and some soft drinks there you go so we can survive <laughs> and it's actually 10 o'clock in the morning and this is our breakfast okay this is our breakfast and lunch all right and after that we're gonna starve again and uh, who knows what's gonna happen uh i just noticed that somebody called here and it says uh Okay, let's see. Unknown. So I guess that's Daddy. I'm sorry, Daddy. I was unable to get your uh, call because I was busy taking some photos and some uh, videos. You know. Uh, so I guess when you called, I was unable to get your uh, your call. I'm really sorry. But anyway, uh, my phone is going to die soon as well because you know it's already. Uh, I'm out of battery now. So I'm sure that if you're going to call again, I won't be able to get it anymore because my uh, uh, my phone is dead. So at least I was able to, uh, I, at least I was able to text my sister just in case Daddy Dawn Smith is going to call her in the province and my sister is going to tell you what happened here. That if ever you're gonna, going to try to, uh, to call me again and I won't be able to get it because my phone is dead because it's uh, no battery I ran out of battery so then there's no way that I could recharge it because there's no power at all no electricity God those people right there I have no idea why they're still there they're just actually just watching all these people coming from the condos how they will survive how can they get uh, their life going and there they're just watching actually most of those people uh, standing right there are coming from these quarters they're coming from this quarter area and here are some of the people coming from this condominium trying to uh, I guess they have to do their errands or they have to go and buy some food as well there you go. That's another woman right there. Uh, where is it? Okay, there. You know, some women, some men. Most of them actually, you know, they're coming from the market. They just bought some food. Because if we don't have to do that, then we can't survive here. We're just going to starve to death. Okay? So that's the way it is. That's the lifestyle here in the Philippines. Well, this, it doesn't happen all the time, but, you know... Sometimes this just happened everywhere in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There. Yeah, those people right there, they're coming from the squatters. They're just actually observing how would the people coming from all these condominiums here in my village, how would they survive with the flood? But we survived somehow. Okay, I guess it's time to eat. We're going to go and have some food now, okay?